Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, isosceles uh, triangle uh, ABC and uh, this uh, semicircle with the center O put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this segment uh, BD is uh, 6 units and the radius uh, of this semicircle is uh, 5 units and furthermore uh, this uh, length uh, AC equals to this uh, side length uh, BC and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle ABC please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We know the radius of this my circle is 5. In other words, uh, this uh, radius is 5 and likewise this radius uh, OD is 5 as well. So therefore this whole uh, diameter AD is going to be 10 units. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this uh, point C and uh, D. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if uh, points A, C and D are uh, the distinct points uh, on the circle, where the line uh, A, D is the diameter, then the angle uh, A, C, D is going to be a right uh, angle. In other words, it has got to be 90 degrees. And here in our case, uh, our points uh, A, C and D are on this uh, semicircle and moreover this uh, A, D is the diameter. So no wonder this angle uh, A, C, D is going to be 90 degree angle. And now in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular A, C as you can see over here. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, triangle uh, ABC is an isosceles uh, triangle and therefore uh, this uh, perpendicular EC is going to be median. In other words, this uh, length uh, AE is going to be equal to this uh, length uh, EB. And we know that this whole uh, length uh, AB is uh, 16 units. So therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, EB is going to be half of that one is going to be 8. So therefore this tiny segment ED is going to be 8 minus 6 is going to give us uh, 2 units. And now I'm going to label uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, EC as our height uh, H. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this angle is uh, alpha and we, this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And furthermore, we know that this uh, angle is 90 degrees and this angle is beta. So therefore, uh, this uh, tiny angle is going to be our angle uh, alpha. And moreover, uh, this uh, angle is 90 degrees. Uh, so therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, segment uh, AE is going to be 8 uh, units and this uh, tiny segment ED is uh, 2 units and moreover this height uh, EC is uh, labeled as uh, lowercase h. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two triangles, uh, triangle AEC and this other right triangle DEC are similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. We are talking about uh, these two right angle triangles, this uh, triangle uh, AEC and this other uh, right triangle uh, DEC. So therefore we are going to have a proportion, in other words the side uh, EC, I'm going to write down side EC divided by side uh, EA is going to be equal to this side uh, ED 
divided by side uh, e c and now let's make an observation we know that e c length uh, is lowercase uh, h our uh, a e length uh, is uh, 8 this uh, e d tiny length is uh, 2 and finally once again uh, e c length is lowercase uh, h so therefore we can write lowercase uh, h uh, divided by 8 uh, equals to 2 divided by lowercase uh, h and now we are going to cross uh, multiply so therefore we are ended up with the uh, h square equals to 8 times uh, 2 is going to give us uh, 16 let me undo this square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides of this equation and here we can see this square and square root is gone so therefore our height uh, h turns out to be positive uh, 4 uh, units so therefore the height uh, h turns out to be 4 uh, units and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, abc and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times a base uh, times a height and in our case uh, our base of this uh, triangle abc is uh, 10 plus 6 is going to give us uh, 16 uh, unit base and the height uh, of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, 4 uh, units so therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the area of this uh, yellow triangle abc is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, base is uh, 16 times height uh, is uh, 4 and let's go ahead and simplify the right hand side that is going to give us 64 divided by 2 and that is going to give us uh, the area of this uh, triangle as uh, 32 square units so therefore after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle abc turns out to be 32 square uh, units in other words the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle is uh, 32 square uh, units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye